Okay, we're full faced, no makeup on the skin yet. So the first thing I did was I went in with the Vitamin Rich Face Base. Now, I call this a primer, but it's really a moisturizer that just makes your makeup looks so beautiful it blends into the skin and just makes you look good and then i went into the tula skincare protect and glow y'all this will make your skin look so glowy healthy and dewy and that's really what i'm about for every day nowadays so i love this personally i'll wear this on its own without makeup and i just feel really confident more so than just with a regular moisturizer if you know what i mean so even this i feel confident to go out the door but you guys already know for every day i still like to use my primer so the vanish airbrush and by the way if you guys see how beat up my nails are it's because they are i just took off my fake nails and these ones are brittle and busted so i'm so sorry you guys have to have that in your face but i'm going into the vanish hourglass primer y'all already know this one will really blur out all your imperfections, your texture. I shouldn't even call them imperfections. That sounds so like backhanded. Like, you know what I mean? We all have texture. We all have maybe, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of an uneven base. But at the end of the day, we're human. So I shouldn't say imperfections, but you guys know like the gist of what I'm saying. I just like to use this to blur out the skin and give a really nice seamless base. And then when I'm done with that, my skin is left feeling a little bit more, you know, a little bit more dry. So then I go in with the NYX Plump Right Back Serum. Y'all, when I tell y'all I love this stuff so much, like look at that nail. That nail is so damaged. I don't even know what to say about it. And I just apply that all over the face. It gives a little bit of like a tacky feel that does go away. It actually has like electrolytes in it, which I enjoy. Plus, that tackiness makes makeup really adhere in a beautiful way. So I love, love, love the Rare Beauty Tint and Moisturizer. That's the one I've been just dipping into and dipping into and dipping into. I love this so freaking much. So I just add like, that was kind of a lot over there. So maybe not that much on this side. And then where's my beauty blender? I feel like it's the same old song with every single video. I never have my beauty blender. And I'm just going to buff that into the skin. I definitely used more than I usually would. But... It just gives you a really beautiful, healthy skin glow, which like I said, I love for every day. And I know I used quite a bit by accident, but even so, you can definitely use a second coat if you want. It's not going to look cakey. It's still going to look very beautiful. And y'all, tell me that that is not amazing coverage for a tinted moisturizer. You can't because it is. It also does blur a bit, which I also love. I can't believe I used that much though. The point of the tinted moisturizer is that it does offer you a bit of coverage, but at the same time, you'll already know it's not going to feel super heavy on the skin. So even though I did go a little bit ham on that side by accident, it doesn't feel as heavy as if I did that with a foundation which I like, so I'm just buffing this all onto the skin. This is actually a dry blender um, because like, I couldn't find the other one that is wet. I don't know where she disappeared to and I'm lazy, so just buff, 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 buffing. And y'all, I love this so freaking much. I probably wouldn't wear this on my obviously full glam days, but for every day, it's just perfect in my everyday makeup routine because you can add some more product make it a little bit more medium coverage, or you can keep it very light if that's what you want, but y'all, it has so much more coverage than your typical tinted moisturizer, so for that reason, I just freaking love it. And it feels really lightweight on the skin, and I'll get really close and personal so you guys can see how it looks. And then I thought I had already told you guys what I was doing, but then I quickly realized I hadn't, so I'm using the Warm Wishes Bronzer in the shade Happy Soul, which looks like this. Oh, please ignore the freaking nails, guys. Ah! And then I like to pat it on the back of my hand, just so it's pretty even. And then I just blend it right here, a little bit above and on the cheekbone. And it blends super quickly and easily. I love this product so, so much. Y'all know that. Like, y'all know. 
If you have any other cream bronzer recommendations though that you think I would really like, please let me know because I feel like I'm beating a dead horse with this one. I just love it so much. Sometimes I'll go a little bit too far down when I am applying my bronzer and we definitely don't want that so I'll take a clean blender or a blender with a little bit of foundation on it and I'll just clean it up a little bit. So essentially cutting it with the blender. Then taking a Luxie brush, I go into the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I used to do this with the Fenty Beauty, but I've been loving this one from Charlotte. And I will just buff that all into the hairline. Then when that's done, I'll usually go into my Rare Beauty Hope blush, but instead I'm going to go into my new favorite, the OYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Classy. I just think for every day, it really doesn't get any better than this. Let me show y'all. I still like to use a little bit on the blender and then also tap on the hand a little bit. And look at how beautiful this shade is. Whoa. So sometimes I do go just a little bit overboard, as you guys can see, but that's totally fine. I also want to put it a little bit on the nose as well because it's just that pretty. And at this point, we're looking a little bit crazy. So then I take my Hourglass Vanish Little Mini Concealer. I've been using this a ton and I love this. And I'll just take a little bit of it on the under eye area and then same thing on the other side and then anywhere else I want to conceal a little bit or brighten rather and I will conceal the under eyes but also clean up that blush and kind of cut up here as well a little bit so I just really love this and I feel like if you're someone that goes overboard with your cream blush and bronzer it's a really great thing to do personally And then if you feel like you lost too much product, like too much blush, you can always go back in. And then again, hitting the bottom of the face a little bit. Then I take my Rare Beauty powder in the shade Light. You guys, this stuff is amazing for blurring and mattifying without making you feel too heavy and look cakey. And then I just place that in the chin, above the cupid's bow, a little on the nose, and on that big old forehead. Then for my eyes, I've been going into the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Eye and Face Palette, which I love, you guys. I actually really love it more than I thought that I would. And I love this because you can keep it really beautiful, light, and subtle, or you can make it a little bit more intense. But either way, it's not emphasizing my texture too, too bad. And I don't know if I already said it, but I used this shade. I think I did, though. And then plop a little on the nose, a little on the cupid's bow, and a little bit under the eyebrow. For setting spray, I've been using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin. I am almost out of this, unfortunately. You do not need a lot, though, or you're going to look super greasy. Like, let me just tell you, and it's going to feel really heavy on the skin, so you do not need a lot of this. That's it. That's all you need. And it just makes the skin look really healthy. For my eyeshadow, I mix the shades in the Sun and Private Island, the two lightest. And I just blend that into the crease. And I actually 
also do want to pop a little bit of Private Island in the sun on the forehead as well because it's not as warm as I want it. Then using the middle shade, which is called Caramel Cutie, all in the outer area of the eye. And then I'm just popping on the shade that we have on the eyes for highlighter. I think this works really well as a eyeshadow because the highlighter isn't super metallic and in your face. So on the eyes, it's the same way. It has a really pretty sparkle to it, of course, because it is a highlighter. But it's not overpowering or chunky looking on the eye, which I love. These are really soft highlighters. And then I just take the brush and blend around it a little bit. And that's it. I'm going to go do the same thing on the other eye and I will be right back. And then I actually decided to take the darker highlighter right here. And what I did was I just smoked it on the bottom and I actually did like a line and then kind of like a little wingy guy because I thought that'd be really cute. I don't know if I love it. I definitely like it, but I don't know if it's my favorite. Maybe I should have just left it alone. But on the everyday basis, I am switching up my makeup sometimes and just doing little small things like this. So I thought, why not try it out for today? And then I also took the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Peach Fuzz. It looks like this, and I love this one so much for every single day. No, this is wrong. This is Peach Fuzz. So I love this so much. I feel like if you're a neutral lover, you'll love this too because it adds a little bit of color without being too in your face and intense and colorful. But I think it looks really beautiful and really flattering. Then, taking everyone's favorite, the Rare Beauty Mascara. I think it's called, like, Perfect Strokes Mascara in the shade Black. I don't know if she has other shades, but I know that this one is definitely black. And just going ahead and building that up a little bit. And I mean, this makes you look like you have baby lash extensions. Like, no joke. It is... Definitely worth the hype that people give it. And I just think that's a really big difference for how quickly I did that. I will actually let you guys watch it in real time so you can see just how beautiful they get and how quickly. Then taking the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow in the shade Apricot Glow. This is the one I gravitate towards the most for every day. I just cannot get enough of it. Like, look at that. Mm. Packaging of this does get dirty, like very dirty, so be aware of that as well when you do get it. It's just going to happen. And also try not to squeeze out too much at once because once you do do that, you cannot put it back down into the tube. It's not going to work like that. You only take out as much as you want to use and that's it. And, I mean, I love this so much. It does tingle a little bit on the lips, but nothing crazy, like, at all. It's very minimal. But I do really love it, and I think it makes the lips look really beautiful and juicy. And I think that's everything, besties. I think this is my full routine for every single day. It feels really lightweight on my face, and I feel really glowy, and I feel very confident. So, that's what I'm going for for every day. I don't want it to be too heavy, not too glam. 
um, but at the same time I want to feel pretty and this look achieves that for me. I know this probably wasn't the most in-depth video or you know um, professional video but this is just what I do for every day and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one besties. Also don't forget to comment video ideas you'd love to see next and yeah, bye!